You shouldn't hate me. Imagine being hated by millions for simply trying to protect your family. This was the reality for one of television's most controversial characters. Today, we were diving deep into the complex world of Breaking Bad to unravel the mystery of Skylar White, the character fans love to hate, but maybe shouldn't have. Hey Breaking Bad fans, welcome back to the channel. Before we jump in, if you're new here and love dissecting complex characters and exploring the hidden depths of your favorite shows, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't want to miss our upcoming videos on TV's most enigmatic personalities. Breaking Bad, a show that redefined television and gave us one of the most captivating anti-heroes of all time, Walter White. But today, we're not here to talk about Walt. We're here to discuss the woman behind the man, Skylar White. When Breaking Bad was at its peak, something strange was happening online. Forums, social media, and even the streets were buzzing with an unexpected sentiment. Hatred for Skylar White. But why? Why did a character portrayed brilliantly by Anna Gunn become the target of such intense vitriol? Let's take a step back and look at this from a different angle. Imagine you're Skylar, your husband, once a mild-mannered chemistry teacher, suddenly starts behaving erratically. He's lying, disappearing for hours, and there's a distinct smell of chemicals on his clothes. What would you do? Skylar's actions throughout the series were those of a woman desperately trying to keep her family safe and intact. She wasn't the villain. She was the voice of reason in a world spiraling out of control. This phenomenon isn't unique to Skylar. Think about other complex female characters like Carmela Soprano from The Sopranos or Betty Draper from Mad Men. Why do audiences often struggle with morally ambiguous women on screen? Dr. Sarah Thompson, a media psychologist, suggests there's often a double standard in how we judge male and female characters. We're more willing to forgive or even celebrate morally dubious actions in male characters while holding women to a higher standard. But here's where it gets interesting. The hatred for Skylar wasn't just about her character. It revealed something much darker about our society and the way we consume media. As the show progressed and Walt descended further into his Heisenberg persona, Skylar became a mirror reflecting the audience's discomfort. She forced us to confront the reality of Walt's actions, and many viewers weren't ready for that. I remember watching the show for the first time and feeling frustrated with Skylar. But on my second viewing, years later, I saw her in a completely different light. It was like watching a whole new show. The turning point for Skylar's character came in the episode Ozymandias, widely regarded as one of the greatest episodes in television history. Here we finally see the full extent of the damage Walt has caused, and Skylar emerges as the protector she always was. But the hatred for Skylar White isn't just about Breaking Bad. It's a reflection of larger issues in our society, how we perceive women in media, our tolerance for moral ambiguity in female characters, and the often toxic nature of fan culture. So next time you're watching your favorite show, I challenge you to look at the complex characters through a different lens. Ask yourself, am I judging this character fairly? Or am I bringing my own biases to the table? Skylar White may have been Breaking Bad's most hated character, but she was also its most misunderstood. She was a woman caught in an impossible situation, making difficult choices to protect her family. In the end, Breaking Bad wasn't just about Walter White's transformation, it was also about Skylar's journey, from an unsuspecting wife to a reluctant accomplice, to a woman who finally took control of her own narrative. But what do you think? Was the hatred for Skylar justified, or was she the unsung hero of Breaking Bad? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into one of TV's most controversial characters, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content that challenges how we view our favorite shows. Until next time, this is Cinematic Perspectives, reminding you that in the world of great television, things are rarely black and white. They're usually a complex shade of gray.